Hello everyone, welcome to the live stream today. Um, I'm gonna to be working on some blue uh, drapery. I was really happy with how uh, this drapery was laying when I first put it out. And um, I'm gonna to try to get it mostly blocked in. Um, gonna fix a few things here. So, all right. Um, and uh, yeah, just it was, it was laying really nicely. I, there's a lot of volume in that. This is going to be a, a fun fun to paint, and we're going to see how far we can get. I'm going to try to use some bigger brushes. You know, this is a pretty good uh, space here uh, to try to cover in one session, uh, but I'm going to work quickly, intuitively, and try to get there um, in a timely manner. Uh, I've I've mixed together a few uh, piles of blue that uh, are gonna basically make up this section. Um, the mixtures are largely, uh, I'm using some titanium white today uh, instead of uh, lead white for fabric. And uh, so I'm using titanium white, cerulean blue, and ultramarine blue. I've mixed a little bit of alizarin crimson, uh, some, uh, some sienna as well to kind of neutralize some of the color so that it's not as, you know, just adding white to some of these tube colors, you get these really unnatural, uh, really strong uh, color mixtures. And it, it, it does well to just mix a little bit of those uh, opposite sides of the color wheel to, to give them uh, just, just a little, little less chroma. The other thing I wanted to do is, you know, I made some that were a little greener, some that were a little more bluer, more purple, and I tried to vary that in both the dark, some kind of mid-tones, and uh, some, some lighter uh, values in the blue. And, you know, because I can see some, some subtle differences there, and I just want to be able to work on those as I go. So without further ado, if you have questions, feel free to... Uh, drop those questions off, and I will uh, I'll do my best to answer those on the fly. Uh, thanks for being here today, and uh, we can get started. I, I did the the surrounding red um, color earlier today, and um, I just realized I'm not quite ready. Um, I'm gonna pull out my my black here a little bit uh, from all the red that I mixed in. And let's see. I'm going to dig through my things here. Find, find my paint. Find my, find the brushes I want to be using. Various areas. I'm going to be using some tens and twelves. Um, and then maybe even a few bigger eighteens. Uh, to, to fill in some of the areas. But I do have three, essentially 10, 10 to 12 size brushes that I'm gonna work to, uh, to get into place. So, all right. And uh, here goes. Uh, working on a big section like this, um, uh, a lot of times I like to work from the darker areas into the light, um, but then other times covering a lot of ground here, um, and there'll be times where I wanna brace my finger on the canvas, and so then it makes sense to kind of work from left to right so that I'm uh, not making a big mess of things. So let's go. All right, I've got my near black here mixed together. And uh, I'm gonna just start in this sort of hanging portion down here. I don't know how visible it is. Oh, it's not visible at all. Okay, well, we'll, we'll come back to that later. Uh, I'll go ahead and put in um, the bottom line because that does appear in the, in the frame. 
and we will we'll leave it there that way that'll give me a little bit of of a dark to compare uh, my values with when I'm putting in the rest of the, the blue uh, values in and around um, the, uh, the, the, the these folds here. Sorry, last night, uh, I think was maybe night number three or four in a row. Um, uh, my, my, my son's kind of in a uh, time where he has a lot of nightmares. Uh, he's, he's young and he's, he's starting to have kind of bad dreams. And so um, I, I've been up uh, two of the last few nights with those. And then uh, really, unfortunately, we've had some storms roll through the area at night too. And uh, those wake me up. I've got the kind of mind that if I wake up, uh, I'm ready to solve problems and create things. And so uh, I'm really good if I don't uh, wake up in the middle of the night. If I do, uh, forget about it. I'm not getting back to sleep. So uh, I may be a little bit out of, out of it. Slur some speech here and there. Sorry. Um, I'm going to, uh, as you see, I've established this dark here. Now I'm going to do the same thing in this area. These Some of these uh, darker values. Uh, I'm gonna lay in. And this is uh, this is my almost my mixed black, which is uh, partly uh, burnt sienna and ultramarine blue, which is really handy. Another reason why I like my mixed mixed black as it is, it is because it, it lends itself to that. If I if I you know it's not gonna be terribly noticeable uh, on the live stream on the video. Uh, but this this black, this really intense dark, uh, is just it's kind of um, it's leaning toward the, that blue, that ultramarine blue, um, and uh, that that's how it's kind of nice because it's it's providing just a little bit of color where you know you would th you wouldn't think that any any color was so. All right, I'm, I'm going to kind of keep moving around here and you know, sometimes I'll, I'll, I'll want to use the edge of the, of the brush, so I'll hold it a different way. I'll, I'll hold it like this just so I can kind of touch up against this edge. And and once we establish this nice deep dark shadow underneath here, uh, we'll, we'll get some of that blue and we'll start to shape this area here. It's a very drear day here, so my my north window is um, it's all it's all cloud cover today. Um, but, but still providing a good amount of light, and then I have my easel lamp too in place. So. All right, we've got these uh, darks in. So I want to. Uh, I'm going to choose to not tell this other story of this line here. Uh, it's just an extra bit of information that is is kind of unnecessary. So you know I. I originally decided I was going to, but now I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna take it out because I think it just, this one whole shape rather than breaking up into two shapes is a, is a better decision. Um, you can, you know, you can do that, right? The, as a painter, you can choose what you want to uh, tell or, or spotlight in your work and what not to. This brush isn't very happy. I, well, you're, you may see. Uh, I, I last used it in Tennessee. Uh, I cleaned it with some kind of some hard, harsh uh, brush soap, and um, and just kind of let it dry. So it, it was it was pretty crunchy. Um, so it, it's really it's really stiff right now. 
That's okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we're gonna work it out. So I'm doing my best in these um, spaces to um, judge this value shift. And this is kind of one of those first decisions, right? I'm looking at the darkness here and saying, okay, what's happening in the shadow uh, of this area here? What's it look like? Um, and so I'm gonna block that in and I'm, and this process along with just about any, every other process when I'm painting is the slow, uh, methodical kind of choice, you know, choice as I go, okay, this compared to this, as compared to this, as compared to this. Um, and you know, it, it happens, uh, such that, you know, I, don't, I kind of don't even think about it uh, anymore. It's so second nature. So it gets a little lighter, just kind of a shape here. I'm going to continue that shape as though it was one big shape. So like I said, I'm going to edit out, um, what uh what i had there before it's good don't need to, don't need to get that specific all right there's a, there's a shadow edge right here on this cloth and in picking my information i'll, I'll just pick this this edge um as as it looks kind of blue it's reflecting some of the blue here and it just looks like a really strong 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 blue a little more chromatic, you might say. Okay. Um, you know, while I've got this color on the brush, I'm, I'm looking to see where else it might be. I feel like I see a little bit of it against this edge. So I'm kind of searching, trying to remain efficient. I've got the color on the brush. Just go ahead and roll with that and use it. There as well, I think. I'll go ahead and bring a little bit lighter as I feel like the form turns right here. To be honest, this is one of my favorite uh, bits of fabric. Um, an artist can have that, right? Uh, it, it just, it allows me to sculpt it. In fact, if you haven't seen uh, my video on, I have a, about a three hour video on kind of how to paint drapery. If you've not uh, taken a look at that on the channel, uh, I highly recommend it because I, I kind of go into detail uh, as to why and how um, I do what I do and choose. So that at that point, I'm going to set that brush down and I'm going to kind of then pick out another brush that I haven't used yet uh, to create these lighter values in, in the blue. And get a little bit of uh, medium on it. I don't, you know, I don't use a whole lot. And we'll pick one of these lighter values. When I look at it, it looks a little greener. So I'm going to pick this one and we'll just see if we, if we did okay. Uh, I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm one of those painters that I, I just like to get it down and, um, and kind of see, okay, is it, is it working? And if it is, great. If not, let's make the adjustment. Does it need to be lighter? Okay, we can adjust that. Does it need to be darker? Okay, we can adjust that. Um, there's definitely a, a bit of a highlight um, kind of right on the edge here. I'm gonna carry that into to that space up there. Uh, 
um, where that form turns um, and, and folds up underneath into that shadow, uh, you know, there's a little bit of a darker plane and getting that little spot in is way more important than, than we give it credit for. Doesn't, doesn't need to be much and I think my brush is a little too big, a little too stiff. Um, for that to go well, drag some paint into this area. So I'll just kind of take my my dark brush and pull that back in. It's okay to make those mistakes and and then adjust. And it seems like there's just a really strong blue on the edge of that shadow. Um, and so I'm going to put that down, kind of really soften that shadow line. And then the area in the light especially this, this area I feel like is um, maybe the most intense. Like if I look over the entire uh, section of drapery, if you're, you're looking on my source, um, it's this spot right here that I feel is the, the lightest. So the light was just really hitting, everything was kind of at the, the most perfect angle right here for light to really just catch it. And um, I'm gonna, I, you know, I want to describe that. And you, and you might see that, you know, just putting in that little bit of information changed the way that worked. Um, it's just, it's funny how not that much is needed. Uh, again, coming back here as I'm starting to kind of pull away from the spot, which I have not finished yet. The little highlight kind of in, tucked in that spot. A little bit of a highlight here. I don't want to. I don't do too much because um, we want to try to keep it all keep it all together. And it gets a little darker on top. Like I said, I I, I just I just uh, bungle around uh, with all this and, until it works. And some of these shadows over here, which they don't get as dark. And again, it's all it's all a comparison. So, you know, I lay down this color, but I'm comparing this blue to this really dark near black that's happening in that space. Um, and you know, when I give critiques uh, with uh, my students, um, I overwhelmingly, other than drawing, you know, dr drawing's always a tough one. Uh, value is the other thing that always needs attention. And now, if I wanted to get really specific, you know, uh, I could do so with each of these little planes. Um, I'm just looking for that, the, what, what I always call the, the necessary, the, like the necessary bit of information. 
we don't we don't need to know everything we just need to know enough uh, to to make the painting work um, so now we're getting close to the point where I'm gonna kind of get out some of my whoops Get out some of my uh, other brushes to kind of see what still needs just a little bit of attention. a little bit. I, I always keep um, one little liner around uh, to help me get those edges. me just to kind of right now this uh, red is is very wet um, I just put it down so I'm I can really work right up next to it uh, fill some of that space yeah I just like to use I like to use these just to clean up So I'll, I'll bump up next to it, but a lot of times there may be just a little bit of space in between. Um, and that's one of those things that kind of steals, steals the illusion, keeping it from being successful. Already, uh, I quickly see. Um, you know, again, again, just getting out this kind of small little uh, buffer, and I'll start to shape some of these planes. Remove some of my harder edges, harder uh, uh, spots that just are a little more rough, and then I can see. I'm looking carefully, and I can see the shape that I'm missing. There is kind of a, a triangle shape here that then goes down into that edge, kind of that shape that's in, in behind there, and the spot that is catching some light right in between there. And you notice my, my stroke is it's just kind of following these forms. I really want it to feel rounded. You know, I do this just about everywhere I'm working. Let the brush follow the contour lines. I mean, it, and just a little bit of work, working it just a little bit there, uh, you know, it really starts, I mean, even before my own eyes, I'm like, wow, okay, it's, you know, now this little section is, it's, it's really starting to sit there. Um, Shocks me even. So 
a little bit of a triangle shape here. Remembering we just decided to not worry about that extra line, although it would have created another line to tell us uh, kind of how that's going and it, it would have worked well, but it just uh, felt like um, some of that unnecessary information. Again, so this is a place where the form turns around this corner. So I'm going to move the brush with it. And each one of those strokes begins to make it work. Uh, please, if you uh, if you just join, um, I'd love to hear from you if you have a question. Um, I mean, it can really be about anything. I know that sometimes you're like, oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna interrupt what you're doing, or this isn't really in keeping with what you're doing. But um, but this time is very much uh, an offering to you uh, if you want to ask. A professional artist, uh, anything, ask away. Kind of the way I look at it is I could, I could just sit here in this room and do this, or I could do it with other people and make some new friends, hopefully, um, and uh, give a little bit of, of my time. Should have looked a little lighter there, so I'm just going to put a little bit of that in. Okay, needs needs a little bit of work. And this is always where the refinement comes. It's like I, you can spend as, as little or as long as you want in these spaces to, you know, to help make this work. Um, I think that this needs to kind of do that to get there. And then shadows are just a little darker there, a little darker on this side too. I'll go ahead and fill in the area up here. Those moments of uh, almost not breathing where you're coming up against other color. I'll use a little bit of um, my brush just to like soften this edge in both sections very wet and will be so for the next um, uh, it I'm, I'm always surprised um, 
you know, I don't use a lot of uh, linseed oil in my mediums and um, it's mostly thinner and uh, the, the paint is such that, you know, it, if as long as I wasn't uh, too heavy, um, it, it'll be dry in around a day. It may be a little touchy, a uh, little, just a little bit, maybe, maybe tacky tomorrow. I'll still take a lot of care with it. You know, I'll even use this edge brush for some of these spaces where You know, the shadow's turning in. Working on uh, getting some, some music for the channel so that you don't have to just listen to me. Um, it's going to be really good stuff. Super excited. A good friend of mine is, is putting it together. And uh, in turn, I'm going to paint his portrait, uh, which I'm also excited to do. Um, as, uh, as, as a instructor, <laughs> Uh, said just a, a little while ago, I mean, just a couple weekends ago, um, when he was doing a port portrait of somebody, it, it kind of made me chuckle every time. He's like, he's, he's got a good head. Uh, and so, so, so I can't wait to paint, paint that my buddy, he's got a good head. I hope somehow he's watching. So. Okay, before I get to uh, really start uh, jumping into the rest of this, um, I'm gonna make sure that I get this little section back here. It's it's not a, it's not a whole lot that needs to be described, but there's a little bit. Um, see, I put a little too much thinner into that. That's okay. You can see how uh, you're seeing some of the the ground layer here. Which I like that energy. Um, for the most part, I always prefer to you know, see some of those layers. I think that's one of the interesting things about oil painting is, you know, it's, it's, all, it's all these layers. And if you're showing each part of the process by just having some of those layers available, um, I think it's, a, it's an exciting part of of the whole process of oil painting I'll have to be really careful coming up against here using that, that little liner brush to 
just bump up against that uh, that edge. Don't like uh, so this is, is kind of looks just like a little different uh, blue. decision see, see how this looks I may have to paint over it later um, so it just so happens that like this lines up with the edge here it's really close and that's almost never a good thing because uh, and I I don't know if you saw me hesitate when I was about right here whether I was like am I gonna come up to that I knew better I shouldn't have done it um, because I think it'd be better if it stopped about right here. Um, all right, so we're gonna try to make a change and kind of, kind of work that in. Yeah, this is just off of the video screen. Must apologize. So what I try to do is I have this kind of this almost paint rake tool. It's kind of a rubbery, almost eraser-like end that I'll just kind of drag some of that paint back out while it's still wet. Um, so that I can do something different there and I don't have to work back into to it. Which requires a lot of like, you know, kind of rubbing it out. So let's have some fun now. Um, I'm going to get out a, a brush that hasn't been used yet. And I'm just going to try to work into this area, work into the little bit of the blue that's there, and see if I can correct some of my... When you know better, you know better. I knew better. Okay. Close. Sorry, I know this is just off screen. It's gotta be really unsatisfying. So, make it quick, promise. In the meanwhile, if you've got a, if you've got a question about something else, let me know. Uh, I, say, I say this often, but I, and I do mean it. If you're, if you're watching this at some future date, Just ask it in the comments and I will, I'll get to it. So I'm kind of mixing a little bit of this background color, uh, which There we go. Sometimes you just know better. Gotta follow the gut. Okay. All right, back to where we were. I didn't need to get that. It was going to bug me if I didn't. It is like perfectly off of the screen there. Sorry, everyone. So you might imagine these things don't quite move around like um, cameras and things once they're set up. 
don't do so very easily anyway. Even I have to hold a little bit of an awkward position to to do this. And go quite a long time without uh, taking a break too. I'm going to make this go a little darker as it goes into the, to just maybe hint at it wrapping around. So I'm going to put these few darker values in here. And what's that, what that, that helps us kind of like move back in and around back behind um, uh, her, uh, her right arm. Okay, get back out my little brush and kind of just work some of this area just a little bit. Okay, that's good enough. It's background and, you know, it's one of those things that not going to be too noticeable when you have faces, hands, and this beautiful drapery we're about to put in. All right. Um, going to do a couple things uh, at once here. I got my my dark brush, so I just have a a brush that I'm going to. Since I'm only working primarily in the blue. Uh, I'm going to keep kind of a dark brush for the darker values, a mid-range brush for the mid-range and the light for the light. And I'll just kind of keep moving around in those. That way I'm not cleaning my brushes out every time. And, um, and that's really more of a personal choice, uh, just being in a studio without ventilation. A few spots here that I want to kind of block into some of these darker values. And really, this section here is uh, the shadow is a nice, rich blue mid. So I'm going to pick pick out this and really put that underneath there. It's reflecting all this other uh, you know, blue light. And then you'll notice, and, or at least I'm, I'm thinking about it, I've got this shape here, and then it turns up and it gets a little lighter. So all I do is I, I jump to um, a mid that's a little lighter in value, and then I lay that in. You know, we've had live streams in the in the past where um, the the thunder thunderstorms came through, and that was fun. I don't know if we're going to get any thunder today, but it's raining gently. It's very peaceful. Nice diffused light from behind the clouds coming in the north window. It's, it's very beautiful. So you notice I laid in that shadow because it got a little lighter on the end. Just paid attention to that. I'm dropping that in. I just think a lot of times uh, we, we try to overcomplicate 
uh, painting and a very just comparative one section to another approach, you know, goes a long way. All right, I think I've got most of those shadows in. And so at this point I'm going to take, um, I'm going to go take a bigger brush. And I'm going to just lay in, there's these big areas of, of light that I'm, I'm going to block in. And so. You know, I, I take back everything I said earlier. Earlier I said I thought this was, I had found the, the lightest spot, but now I, I think I found a lighter spot. Nice thing about my guiding lines that I'm painting over right now, the kind of plumb lines, the grid system that I aided with my drawing, uh, is I can it really just wipes away. Um, it's a white charcoal pencil that I use to get everything in just so that I know where I'm at. So I think this gets a little darker here. I don't want to go too much. more brushes to clean at the end of the session when I get out some of these uh, bigger ones. That's all right. The more that I look at this, um, I'm using a lot more of my greener blues than my kind of more warmer, redder, um, pur more purple uh, colors. It's one of those things you I can't really see until I'm in there. And then when I get in there, it's like, oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not quite right. A little off in my estimation as to how these look and work. These areas down here, I think, are the are the very lightest. So sorry, the section that I said you were the lightest earlier, not true. Take it all back.
big brush it's hard to you know the whole time I'm trying to avoid um, bumping too much into some of these other areas. As you can see, I'm just kind of comparing and putting in another, another bit here. So this would get a little more ultramarine blue on the brush. Some kind of softer lines in here, softer transition. You can see how some of these areas they uh, they start to come together uh, pretty quick. Working on these big sections. No need any of these marks following uh, these forms.
an interesting thing happens in each painting where um, it happens about the time that I I get you know I've got a lot done on it but I still have a lot to go you know of where I've put in considerable hours and you know it's just it's not there yet and won't be for another few sessions um, so that's that's gonna happen right now where uh, the, 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 like the payoff hasn't happened yet so still still working toward that moment it, and it is an interesting turn. It's like as soon as that occurs, um, there's, a, there's a kind of a renewed energy to finish. That's really powerful. It's because I'm seeing it done. Uh, or it's at least getting close enough for me to be like, oh, so that's what it's going to look like. Uh, you know, that happens each time. So I'm, I'm in that, uh, that really bad middle state where there's nothing that I absolutely love yet. And I'm still far from, from getting there. That's why sometimes I, I like to work with, work by um, doing faces first and uh, just having some areas that I, that I really love. Um, rather than, you know, in this case, I, I've had to kind of move quickly on this piece and I'm st still waiting for the underpainting values to, to dry, to give me, so, but I really have to kind of make the most of every, every moment. Um, so I've gone right into working on the drapery in other areas. Um, but I'm thinking after today, it's, uh, it's definitely going to have to be um, parts of the figure. I don't see how I can keep it up, <laughs> keep up the enthusiasm. I think there's a really a similar spot for all artists, no matter what, um, what your focus is. There's kind of a a weird kind of dark moment before before it really starts working, before you get really excited, because um, you're it's like all that effort is is finally like oh I can see it. Um, those are the days where, you know, I could just paint, 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 uh, for hours and hours if, if no one stops me. Um, same for the front side. So the first day or two of a painting are also really exciting. Um, I have a lot of energy, a lot of excited, um, energy that just like gives, gets me going. Like, and I can paint a lot at the first and at the end, it's the middle section that's tough. work in uh, to this edge here as it turns in underneath just gotta take my liner brush
clean up some of these edges. Then we'll get out the buffer brush and we'll work into some of these spaces. A lot of times I like to use a more saturated color on the edge of shadows. So I like I'll, I'll take this blue here, which you know is it's pretty strong, and I'll I'll let it go into the shadow. I mean, it is what my eye sees, um, but I think it also uh, helps with like if I just carry this kind of white. It's light blue directly into that shadow without this kind of buffer of this intense blue. It um, it just kind of pastes out and, and grays, whereas this has a lot of color as it moves into the shadow. A lot of back and forth, a lot of looking. And primarily I'm just trying to chase down all the areas that are uh, kind of uncovered. Um, so you can still see some of this uh, ground layer in some of these areas, and that's, that's really what I'm after. And then there's just a few other spaces where I'm like, oh, I want to add that there, and I'll do so. really blue in here so um, trying to take some straight blue One of my weaknesses in painting, and I think it's always good to know your weaknesses, is you know I have a tendency to kind of put the lights and the darks in, and then um, 
I'm missing a lot of good mid-range values. Um, so we're going to try to not end up uh, in that trap if I can help it. At least it keeps me aware of it as I'm doing it. A little bit of a highlight on the top here. Right up next to that red. So when I'm working uh, these these major shapes that are coming together, um, I'm not doing every little every little bit. Um, you know, I'm looking for all those good bits of information. All right, other than a few little spots, I think we're ready to kind of start um, sculpting. This is, maybe I should start calling this the sculpting phase. Um, where I, I like to take this little brush and I just begin to kind of work some of these edges there's already some value going on here and it starts to allow me to see really what I have. I can make changes as needed. This also allows me to just kind of buff through some of the areas that are still showing the ground layer. You can see already there's some spots that are so much more intensely blue than I have them. It is something that happens. I do have a tendency to try to neutralize things a little more. Um, 
this is because I think it's so easy to um, put so much color in that you, you lose your illusion. Um, so I have to work on that. I might come back in with some a little more color. joining the stream, feel free to drop off a question. Be happy to answer it. Um, you literally have an, uh, an artist here who's worked uh, professionally uh, in the field uh, full time for the last uh, eight years solid. So I'd love to answer anything you have about, uh, if, you're, if you're thinking about art for a career, um, you know, would love to just be uh, a resource for you. And I can kind of turn off my brain and just do this. <laughs> so I can really focus on on your question if you'd like, so please feel free to do so. I mean, I really remember thinking earlier on um, in my college years that you know, no one became a full-time artist. Um, and uh, I really think otherwise now, so I'd love to um, answer your questions about any part of that. So I'm just working around, buffing, trying to kind of follow some of the lines and and then that that gives me a little bit to begin comparing to comparing to my source material and then back to the painting to say, okay, what really needs attention here so that, you know, this just begins working. Um, what are those uh, good bits of information? Two, uh, and this is something I, I say, uh, and please take me up on it. If you see something like, and you're like, hey, uh, you should uh, take a look at that. I think that's gonna help you make this a better painting. Um, and I am, I welcome that to um, I can tell you how many times I can't see something but someone else can it just happens when you look at it too long
Okay, I like, I like how it's coming. Um, I'm trying to remove all of that underpainting color at this point. And I just barely missed and some of my tiling, so I'm putting down the major, blocking in the major shapes earlier. Sometimes the brush is just a little messy and I gotta come back in and fix that edge one more time. I'm gonna pull in some near straight ultramarine blue. The shadow just seems so blue on this side here. And as it transitions up here, such a soft. There's a definite point where the light is and the, and the dark is, but um, you know, I like that a lot better now. Just try to soften up this edge too. All right, been kind of avoiding it because it's a tight spot down here. Um, but I'm gonna get down here and uh, clean this up a bit. Feeling, feeling a little quieter today, I guess. I don't know. I think it's just fatigue more than anything. I haven't slept the best the past few nights. It's really a rainy overcast day <laughs> here in Kansas. I blame it on those things, so I'm going to keep working and if I think of something to say, I'll say it, but if not, I'll probably just be quiet. And you can always ask anything you'd like. So maybe you just want to be like me today. Um, put on a song and just kind of watch each of these brush strokes go down. about how slow process produces something in each mark. It's kind of like each choice of our lives. making us who we are.
revealing a grand picture in the end. There's always uh, this balance that, you know, to, in order to create a lighter color, a lot of times you, you know, got to add another lighter color. A lot of times we sort of rely on black to do that, or excuse me, white to do that. Um, told you I was sleepy, and. You know, there comes a time where making it lighter and lighter. Of course, you're mixing these colors um, slowly starts to take away um, the right intensity of the blue. And so there's always this space where you have to kind of choose, you know, how light am I going to make this versus how, you know, kind of blue am I going to make it? Because um, if I if I go a little lighter than this, all I can do with the colors I have on my palette, which you know are very few, um, will only just turn it more white and not necessarily colorful, and make it really feel like the light is hitting uh, a color. And so, yeah, there's a there's a good deal of kind of trial and error. I've I, I'm right at the edge uh, with this, so like. You know, as I as I look to the source, you know, I see I see that I um, my blue in the light is not as intense as the blue in the source, uh, but I think the value is about right in comparison with uh, the black and okay, these really dark areas here. I'm always very it's tough. Sometimes, even though that is the same value, I made it appear um, as though more light were touching it just by adding a little more chroma to this one spot. Not necessarily a lot more light, um, but just more color intensity. But it does need a little more light. And I just about ruined it there. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm talking about, that careful balance between the two. And maintaining that, it's really hard. You know, I only have to focus on really one a monochromatic color scheme right here. I don't have to think any further about it. Um, So 
So I'm just going to use some of this to really get this to sit here and work. And a little more blue to areas. I just realized how uh, some of these areas are really dead when there's a lot of uh, intense chroma there. You know, there's some areas in drapery where it's really soft transition, some hard, some really rough edge, you know, really light dark right here, you know, and those are, those tell, you know, paying attention to some of the things really tell the viewer and tell whoever, whoever's looking at the piece really what's happening so it's good to pay attention to UPS truck just pulled up David did we get anything did it drop something that ours has? I don't know I thought I didn't I didn't see couldn't tell it's on the other neighbor's house right now I'll check One of the things that's uh, unsatisfying right now um, is uh, I haven't truly, as they say, turned to the form. So because I haven't described all of this to this side yet, um, it, you know, I've got the light side, but not kind of the, the darker side. Because as, as with anything, um, 
you want to think about how you know yeah there's a lot of folds here sure but really there's just one shape um we're looking at this kind of spherical cyl cylindrical shape light is hitting it from here so there's going to be an overall movement as it travels around and we haven't really got to see that yet because i just haven't painted it yet and so i think we're about ready to do that now um i see little i see more adjustments i could make but I'm probably not going to go there because I like because I think it's going to work when I when I start to get that shadow in. When in doubt, get out your mirror. That's what I just did. Kind of take a look at it in a mirror, see if there's anything that you're like, mm, this needs a look. All right, let's make that next move. So if you, you've joined um, in, you know, the last hour or so, I don't know how long we've been going so far. Uh, oh, hour and 30 minutes. Um, if then you've kind of just seen me work on this area, you haven't really seen the block in phase. So, so we're gonna do a little bit of that block in movement um, here now. So you can really kind of see what that what that looks like. Um, you know, I did a lot of blending, you know, for the last um, 30 minutes or so. So now I'm going to move back into blocking in. And so I like to start with my dark values and Really pump those up, make sure they're nice and rich. That's why I'd ar I've already built up the darks just a little bit, you know, not much, but you know, I was just hoping to get enough there to undergird the color layer when it goes on. So let's see what we can do, turning, turning these forms around here too light all right you know that's what i like to do kind of make a make a hazard a guess how's it going is it gonna make it so i'm gonna use that since i've got it on my brush just kind of coming around the corner here a little bit i think it gets a little darker than what i had there so let's try this one Anything cool? I don't know, it's all first year. <laughs> I'm gonna pull in a little of this. I don't wanna get it too light, but light is hitting this one fold here. It kind of fades and turns around. Between lightness happening here. I don't know how much my head is in the shot. I can just see my head swiftly turning back and forth, back and forth, um, as searching for that uh, those big bits of information.
So, you know, just adding that bit of that uh, shadow side suddenly gives this that, gives to give this that turn. Um, and that's where chasing those necessary bits of information give us, really turn that form around. You know, yeah, it has to do with value, you know, your lights and your darks and getting those in the right place, but also has to, it's a lot to do with deciding how you're going to um, light your model. So if you are, if you're working, you can, you can really be thinking about whatever source you're working from, or if you're taking some photos, or if you're setting up your still life, or if you're setting up the model to paint from live model, um, you know, light is so critical. And you can definitely have light that is not going to help you make a good painting, uh, and light that will help. Well, I'm feeling good and warmed up now, so uh, that is a real thing. I didn't do any sketching or anything. I'm just kind of dove right into it uh, today. I'm feeling warmed up now. See a little bit of a little darker shadow in this spot. And you know, a lot of times, all the some of the brush energy, you know, tell of what's what's happening here. I mean, you know, there there are lots of little tiny folds, and yeah, if I wanted to, I could. You know, try to get every one of those and uh, you know that's it's not my goal in painting um, first of all I think it drive me crazy um, and I'm always trying to make and keep a painting a painting Those little specifics or, you know, maintaining those, I think are always, it's great. It's great if you're taking a photograph, but we're making a painting and painting is inconsistencies. Painting needs to do what painting does best. And if you want to learn more about that, uh, my uh, my channel has a video called The Uncanny Valley. And I talk about a little bit of kind of my philosophy of, of painting and my philosophy of realism. Um, you can check that out. If any of you on the stream right now are, are patrons um, via Patreon, thank you very much. And that is available. The answer, uh, if you're like, oh, there must be a lot of extra things on there. There's not. 
<laughs> um, uh, it's just, you know, it's patrons who have made uh, this possible. Um, from all the equipment that I've, I've purchased to be able to show these and share these videos with you. Um, uh, it's been, it's been their gift to you. So if they're on, thank you. Thank you. A lot of people have benefited from your kindness. Sometimes I'll, I'll work kind of a, kind of an area at a time. I know this was kind of a big area, but I may just pause right here and not try to go into the rest of these other folds just yet. And just take a few moments to flesh out and um, let's get this in uh, a little bit better shape. before I move on to that section. That usually means cleaning up edges, uh, cleaning up some of my brush marks. Again, not wanting to lose it all, but you know, calm some of it down some. There's a little bit of reflected light there. We'll, we'll allow for it.
getting paint off the brush here. Kind of clean up a little bit of my hard edges. There's some of those that I want to keep and some of those I'm going to do something different with. Funny sometimes when the paint is darker and my hand is in the light here, just the reflection. I don't know if it's visible. No, probably not, but it's the reflection and the wet paint is sometimes hard enough to see past to see if I'm going to hold my head at weird angles. make this transition a little softer, although it is quite angular. You know, when I look at the source material, you know, it's definitely here and then here. You kind of watch that line travel down the, the middle. Sometimes just for big um, areas, I'll even get out the fan brush. And just kind of Things sometimes I, I like to do with a fan brush is uh, drag drag the paint around a little bit. So you know, here's here's a good example. I'll, I'll just kind of do this real quick. I'll kind of grab here and turn it and create these little marks um, that further kind of create um, kind of kind of space, and it, it really gives it. It's almost like a, it feels like a weave of the fabric, but these little lines that are almost imperceptible um, really do a lot. So like here's another good area where if I just kind of drag this around the top there, give it a little bit of a hump. You can also do that in the valleys too, so if I Pull that. It does require about, you know, kind of wiping off the brush each time, or it'll drag lighter paint back into the darker paint. I 
if you have a cat, we'll drag your cat's hair into the painting. I doubt that this is very perceptible on the on the stream, but you know, doing make, making these little marks um, really does a lot to the volume of of the piece because I'm pulling these lines and curving these lines so that you know it essentially sends these contour lines. If I were to draw one after another after another after another, it would send this on back and around. Um, it's just an attempt to really get that topography. it off and a little bit of the darker blue got into the lighter blue up there. It does require kind of very intentional placement and then pulling. Cleaning the brush. Placement with pulling. Didn't, didn't clean up there, got in trouble. lighter value into the dark. Okay, let's see where we are back here. So here's a good example. I'm going swooping this way in here because I wanted to, that to feel deep. And then on the outside here, I'm kind of uh, bumping outward so that there's a feel or a flow almost that you could you know, you know, follow a motion. Um, that's one way to, to make this work. Okay, the spot I don't really like is in here. You know, as I wrestle with it. Should I get that cat here out of there? So I'm going to take a look at uh, this section right here. And I've got to puzzle that out just a little bit. I think it's a matter of describing this shadow right here. And we'll see if that 
Yeah, I think that helps a little bit. Feels a little more like this kind of uncertain, strange uh, drapery section where. It's not quite in the light, it's not in the shadow. Um, Like in the volume, getting some, getting some volume here. All right. Um, with that, I'm gonna clear this up to here, and then I'm gonna try to block in the rest of this section, and hopefully we can call it. Although you know that's still probably about an hour away, all told. So drapery, uh, it takes a long time. <laughs> Kind of if only if only I was John Singer Sargent. You know, he's looked so effortless coming from his brush. I think I've heard and read elsewhere that um, it wasn't that he modeled it very carefully and then came back on top with a few really choice marks that made it look effortless. I don't know specifically if that's true, but I've heard. Carefully modeled form. And then that beautiful mark that he had Very thoughtful, intentional. the chat is disabled or something or it didn't work or didn't connect or um oh yeah and I, I, mean, I don't like it. i don't i don't and i don't know how to not do that so i, I don't know what happened it, it was disabled but i don't know how you try again later like yeah it's like do you, is that there's a little david if you turn the screen and so you can see and work the mouse at the same time does it uh is a little dot 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 up there? Do the, the triple dot? What is the official word for that? Um, no. Well, sorry if you did try to answer, ask a question. I was just realizing, I was like, man, it's really, really quiet. It's usually not this quiet. Or maybe now you will ask a question and I'll be like, okay, it really was that quiet. strange. 
Yeah. Maybe next time. Probably should have refreshed the page. I don't know. You're not getting any chat revenue though. Chat revenue. Yeah. Just just think, somebody could be. I don't know. I, I've never done it before, but you can have stickers and things, I guess. All sorts of cool, cool stuff. Well, friends, if you are on today and you've tried to say hi and ask great questions, thanks for being here. Not leaving just yet. Got more work to do, but I wish it would have worked. We'll check that next time. So I'm trying to stream just about anytime I can. I figure, you know, I'm. I'm going to be making this painting anyway, and I might as well uh, do it with all of you and answer any questions you might have. So. Didn't quite meet my goal to answer your questions today. I think one of the hardest things for most people is uh, simply to be available. Um, you know, we're, we're all really busy, it seems like. And I don't really remember it being this way. Um, when I was younger, uh, I don't think it's just because I'm older with the family either. I think there's a, a busyness kind of a curse that we just, uh, we, we can't seem to not stay at it. <laughs> um, working really hard or, um, I mean, I'm definitely working really hard. I'm overworking right now, trying to finish these sets of paintings, but um, I do plan to take a little sabbatical at the uh, at the end of this.
was a little overzealous. I thought, oh yeah, that's gonna go there just perfect. A little too dark. Sigh of two hours straight. Whew. Feeling the fatigue. Okay, I'll try to anticipate your question. Vince, did you go see the Dune movie last weekend? Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. Saw it on opening night in the IMAX. Um, and um, as, a, uh, as a big fan of, of the book, um, you know, I'm, they uh they did a pretty good adaptation so i was really i was really pleased with it so it it, ha it has uh, a lover of the book's recommendation um it, it has been a movie that i had long wanted to see uh adapted to the screen and and i can say that did a good job. And yes, I did see 19, I think it's 1984's David Lynch's adaptation. No, it's, sorry, that one was, got a little too zany. So there was some, 
This one, this one felt uh, a little more authentic. So another thing that helps like this, you know, you can, you can set up things to help you or to hurt you. Um, and the way this, there's an overall movement here that really is also kind of telling us about this volume that's sitting here. Um, you know, and each one of these is really kind of following that same movement. Uh, and that that's helping. This is all, those are all, ways in which in some ways I, I'm, I'm just making it easier on myself uh, when I finally get to creating the final painting. Um, you know, everything that's set up, all the m modeling, everything beforehand is all there to, to really make that the piece, the final piece successful. And so even to the way you set up your drapery um you'll you'll find that you know you can do it in a way that helps you can do it in a way that hurts um it's all it's all adjustable the way you position the model's hands um, All matters. Can make your job easier or harder. And really, uh, uh, for me to mention going to see a movie in a theater, that's that's a really big deal. Um, I mean, I know that's what normal people do. <laughs> uh, go see movies. Um, I just don't really do that sort of a thing. So, um, so yeah, it was a big deal. Kind of always been lost uh, into my own world making. And this will win me no friends, but it seems like a lot of stuff is just garbage these days. <laughs> so, I'll reveal my hand a little bit. Very little is good or interesting. It's all reboots and I hear what you're saying. It wasn't doing a reboot. But... It felt fresh. Although I should say it, it felt as though it has never really been made into a movie until this time. coming, I hear him. Hey buddy, what's going on? How was school? Good. Getting a lot of painting done. Mm. 
live live streaming right now, but but later, okay? Because I know what you want to ask me. So, which one means that people are here? Um, that number right there. Four people are here. Mm -hmm. Four people are watching. Or listening, or, or something. Why are, you Why are you not talking? Why am I not talking more? I don't know. I'm kind of sleepy today. What? Yeah. I'm not tired. You're not? I've worked all, I've worked all day, and I'm not tired. Wow. I'm impressed. You always, I'll be tired. If I'm reading the whole thing, I pop them. Okay. I'll get tired in that. We're working on our reading right now. It's either the night, um, my son was uh, reading Hop on Pop t to me while I was painting. So we were, I had to kind of guess at what he was trying to read because I, I couldn't always see. It was good. Also hard, wanted to quit a lot, you know, so it's, it's hard to stick in, you know, I mean, gosh, you know, it doesn't even matter. About two hours ago, as I was working on this section, I wanted to quit. <laughs> So I I understand the the the, de the desire it's strong within me. Really getting down to the wire here, so very near completion today's work. By today's work, this this little area of live stream. I might be working tonight as well. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if I have the wherewithal. But I got. Uh, feel good about it. That's, I mean, you know, each day try to make a bit of a goal. Okay. If I, you know, if I'm gonna, I try to get into that bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry. We're, we're, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. So if, if, if it can wait, we should actually with the kids, thing playhouse just have a hole where the, the bathroom is that's true door you get there. a little mini door just shimmy, shimmy on. we have a we have a secret room uh in our house yeah. and uh, it's pretty fun yeah. search there's other places we think it could open up um live stream oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, all right, yeah, buff out some of these areas, and then 
I think the, the evening will be yours. If you just joined, sorry, I don't know why chat's not working today. I don't know. Weird, weird, weird thing. Not sure what happened. Um, so that's going on. Um, just trying to wrap up this blue cloth. Of course, the entirety will uh, be on the internet as long as there is an internet. And don't intend to take it down. So you can watch it. You can drop off a comment because maybe that's that's where the question can go since they weren't able to go in the chat. You drop off a comment and I'll uh, I'll get to it when uh, YouTube tells me that I have a new comment. And then so you might have to just wait just a little bit. I'm so sorry. All right, so I'm working, softening. And kids are pretty excited about Halloween. They think that's maybe the talk going on downstairs that I can hear all the way up here. If not, uh, probably will be. Got um, got Elsa and Darth Vader this year. So all part of the uh, fine line of Disney. Well, everybody, I think that's about uh, how the, the day is going to go. Uh, I do appreciate you being here. I do apologize for the random reason why there's no uh, chat going. I don't know. Just now I'm not receiving enough video stream. I don't know. Hey, it's great to have you. Love you all. Take care. We'll see you the next time. Um, and uh, God bless.